At the informal consultations on 13 February, the committee exchanged preliminary views on a case reported by a member state in a note verbal dated 6 February 2013, according to which the authorities of that state had intercepted on 23 January 2013 a vessel that it suspected was carrying illicit weapons from Iran to be delivered to that state. We note with, regard, with regret that the panel of experts confirms that Iran continues to breach its international obligations. A blatant and worrying example is Iran's ballistic missile launches highlighted in the panel's 11 January report. The evidence of this breach is compelling and the panel was clear that these launches of ballistic missiles in a military context by Iran constitute a violation of Resolution 1929. We are also concerned by the panel of experts' compilations of statements on the transfer of arms to Gaza by Iran, which indicate that Iran has breached UN Security Council Resolution 1747. Iran's support to militant groups such as Hamas directly undermines prospects for peace in the region and further undermines the Iranian government's claim to the international community and to its own people that it supports stability in the Middle East. Iran already has enough enriched uranium to fuel the Tehran research reactor for at least a decade. Increasing this capacity without any clear civilian use makes no sense. Iran's actions neither build international confidence nor bring us closer to a comprehensive and peaceful solution. On the contrary, they raise the world's concerns. The United States remains committed to a diplomatic solution, and therefore we welcome the recently resumed P5 plus 1 dialogue with Iran. But let us not forget that dialogue is only a means to an end. Our goal remains a durable and comprehensive solution to the Iranian nuclear issue, which restores international confidence in the exclusively peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program in accordance with the NPT and in compliance with all relevant UN Security Council and IAEA Board of Governors resolutions. The members of the Council have before them document S-1027.